Hello everybody, hopefully you're having a good Saturday evening. I am back with another little haul video. This is my Amazon haul. So my scrap, I have mostly scrapbooks and stuff in here. And as you can tell, it's just a little box and stuff. Um, I originally was just going to buy refills for my ATG gun and my little um, Tombow tape runner. I'll show you. This is, by the way, this is, this is number two take video share because I, I got interrupted by my mother she was bringing me some clothes so yeah I got a little interrupted so I had to redo this video again um yeah I, I had this Tombow tape runner I was out of adhesive but I didn't I haven't used it in like a year and I wanted some refills and I couldn't find any on like a cherry on top or scrapbook.com most all of them are continuing discontinuing um, tape on it for this tape dispenser, and I got this in a prize pack that I won from scrapbook.com, and I like it because it just it, it, like most of you probably know it's a um also like a stamp tape thing, like you can stamp on a little bit of tape, or you can do like a regular tape on it. So yeah, I bought some more refills for this. So. This is what the refill is. I think it was about eight bucks or something. And I got this. I could have ordered it to another one of them, but I'm trying to watch my money. So yeah, I bought this refill. And then that's all I was gonna buy. I was gonna buy my ATG gun refill, but I bought some from Joanne and I thought, oh no, that was a little bit expensive, like 12, 13 bucks, I think. I don't know, I gotta look at it again. I was just looking around because I, I, I wanted to buy some stuff, some other stuff, and I, I've been wanting some um, watercolor brushes like these, and I got these. These are three sizes, and they are Pentel Art Squash brushes. They're from Pentel, Pentel, the Pentel Art a squash brushes and they come in a fine I think a fine a medium a fine medium and bold tip water brushes um but I, I saw the reviews of these three I, I picked this up because it's three in a pack and it comes in three different sizes and I heard nothing but good reviews on this water brush and now I got some water brushes I might buy a different brand to test them out but I got this because it comes to me in a pack, and I hear, I'm hearing good things about this. And that doesn't leak or anything. I never owned water brushes before, but I thought I'd buy this, test it out. Because I looked at some reviews on YouTube about it, and it seemed like everybody likes them. You know, they, they might have their pros and cons like everything does. So I bought those. So I want to test them out on some, like when I do stamping or when I do like water coloring or whatnot. But, I wanted to give this a try and see how it works. But yeah, when I do like my water coloring or when I want to do like the wash color background, I can use these, these um, water brushes. And the next thing I got, well, the last two things I got was um, I got this big Sizzik big dye, tag dye from Tim Holt Alteration. Um, this is dye I got. I like it's really cool. Cool dye. I got a second dye, but this dye I got, this brand new, never been opened or anything. I got it from, yeah. Saw it and I thought I'd get it. But it was about 18 bucks, so it was a little expensive. So that's what I bought. I bought this dye. It's a Sizzix. Again, it's Sizzix. Big, easy dye. It's, and it's the tag dye from Tim Holtz. Alterations. I like to mount stuff. The reason why I got it was for this tag, and this tag, and this little tag right here. Those are the three ones I got it for. Then I like it because it had to kind of tag, and then I want to do some tamping on my tags, and maybe send out a couple of cool tags for different people on here on YouTube that I've been following and watching their videos. And the last thing I bought from Amazon 
one another um I guess you call it flame frame dies with Tim Holt, it's from Civic and it's frame frameworks. And these are different size tags. Um tag um framework eight dies. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, eight dies. You can make tag reason why I got this cause they have different size tags. And yeah, I can make different size tags on my silver cameo. But I bought these dies, these different these two different dies because I wanted to probably some days make some different tags or some different types of dies and I wanna I don't always wanna get my mat out, put paper on it, make sure it's the right size and cut it and have to take all this. You know, I didn't wanna go through all that hassle. So I just some days I might just wanna get my cutter bug out and just crank it through my cutter bug. Be a little bit faster. I like my cameo, don't get me wrong, I love it. But there's some certain things I just wanna be really quick about it and get it done. So yeah, I bought this this die, I wanna try it out. It's a Sizzix framework die and it's also a Tim Holtz alteration framework die. And this is the back of it. And this is what you get. And a lot of people it said to use with you can use it with other with machine, but you can use it with your cutter bug too. I don't know why I don't say you can't use it with your cutter bug. Probably people, I don't know, but yeah, I bought this. This is all I bought. Hope you guys enjoy this little haul video from Amazon. And in the future, you probably see some tags coming your way for some people. Um, I want to tell you this out. This was real cool because. I don't know if any of you have the Tim Holt alteration framework tag dies, but they have like this little thing right here. You can use that and I guess pop it into your tags here, I guess, and your big tag and make it like a hole for you. I don't know. I don't know what that's for. I gotta. Oh, yeah, it is. It's for one of your. Okay, yeah. Time for one of your little old things up here. That's what this is for. Yeah. So I can't wait to try this out. See how it works. I just gotta, I gotta figure out what the sandwich for the framework die. I looked on, I think I found where you do like your, for this framework die and all these sun dies. You do like your, in your cutter bug or in, in, in any machine die. You do like your A point, your A point, I think your B point. Your die, your paper, and then maybe a C point. Well, I think you can do like your A, A adapter. Well, it's not A point. Your A point, your embossing cushion, embossing um, pad. Then I think it's your die, your paper. Oh no, it's your. Embossing rubber mat, and then it should be plate, and then it should die, and then it should paper, and then it should be plate. One of those two, that's how you do it. I'm mean, gonna try it out, see how it works. But yeah, look for maybe some tags coming to some people. I wanna see how they like some of these tags I have ideas for. So yeah, and plus I have ideas. My mom just put out her stuff, and I was telling her, well, I have some tag things I bought, and I wanna see if I can, like this little tag. Right here, this little tag, or the, these two little tags right here, they'll occupy be used for my mom bizarre stuff. Like when she does prices, or if she wants, you know, I can tie them up to her, like crochet stuff. And she doesn't know that I told her I'd do that if she wanted, but you know. Anyways, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is all I bought. All this little stuff, not much. But that guy might be interested in seeing it and interested in hearing me ramble on like always. And I hope you guys are having a good Saturday and I will see you guys around. And I prom I hopefully there will be some layout coming, layout shares coming. I need to get my butt on doing some layouts because I found some pictures of my dad. A cool picture of my dad and his 52, standing next to his 52, Henry J car him and his dad picked up and it's a cool it looked like a cool car and I'm, I have a I have an idea for a layout for that 
Um, I print out some information on the 52 Henry J. Kai. Some background information on that because I'm going to do a layout on that. So watch out for that. Anyways, enough of my chit-chatting because it's going on 10 minutes. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.